Uh, we performed a study with a large U.S. retailer, and in the study, we were interested in the effect of display advertising online from this retailer on the sales lift for the retailer. So by the sales lift, I mean what happens when a user sees the advertising online in terms of their purchasing behavior at the retailer. By using a user base of about 3 million users, we were able to find a pattern that for every dollar in display advertising, we could quantify a lift in sales of roughly $10. Now comes the interesting and surprising part. Of this lift in sale, roughly 93%, in fact, the overwhelming majority, comes offline. In other words, people would see the advertising online and then go and make purchases at the retailer offline, which is rather surprising because you think of online advertising driving online sales activity. Users who were exposed to the advertising and lived within a two-mile radius of a store had four times the propensity to purchase as those who lived outside this radius. In other words, for the users within a two-mile radius of a store, there was an almost 40 to 1 lift in sales per dollar of advertising spent. One of the studies we did looked at the spread of influence in a social medium such as Twitter. Specifically, we looked at the tweeting and retweeting of URLs as a measure of social influence. The concrete question that motivated our study was the fact that some advertisers in the United States were willing to give a celebrity actress $10,000 per tweet if they tweeted about their product. So the question for the advertiser is, is this good ROI? So by analyzing the spread of influence in Twitter, what we concluded was that the best way to spend a budget was not to give it to the celebrity actress, but rather to spread it among a large number of ordinary tweeters with the goal of maximizing your social influence.